Here's the snail. We are at the Menara Gardens. Welcome to Life Moves. I'm Saeed Mahmoud. On our second day in Marrakesh, we visited the Menara Gardens and the 800-year-old Kutubia Mosque. If you have not seen our day one vlog or the traditional Moroccan house tour, please check them out. You will find the links in the description below. From the city center, you can take bus number 11 to Menara Gardens. We opted for a taxi ride, which took about 15 minutes. Entry to the garden is free, but there is a small charge to enter the pavilion. There isn't a whole lot to do at Menara Gardens, but rather it is a place for a quiet, relaxed afternoon. If you want to see a typical botanical garden with many types of plants and trees, you would probably like Jardin Majoral better, which we will show you in our next video. Menar Gardens are more like an open space that has a central water reservoir with palm trees and olive groves around. It is a tranquil place. Locals come here to relax and get away from the busy Medina, the old city, which makes it a good spot for people watching. In the 12th century, this place was established to irrigate the surrounding gardens and orchards with a sophisticated system of underground channels. Overall, if you are in Marrakesh for a very short trip and are pressed for time, you can skip the Menara Gardens. However, if you come here knowing what to expect, you might actually enjoy a peaceful afternoon. We are at the Menara Gardens and all the way straight up there is the Kutubia Mosque. you can see behind me is the Kutubia Mosque. This is the largest mosque in Marrakesh and it's over 800 years old. It was built during the reign of al muhad Caliph Yaqub al-Mansur between 1184 and 1199. The word Kutubia means bookseller. There were over 100 bookstores and libraries in this area. This was at a time when studies, education, poetry and science flourished in the Muslim lands spanning North Africa, Spain and Middle East. As this is an active place of worship, only people who want to pray are allowed inside the actual building. This is in contrast to many other Muslim countries that we have been to across the Middle East, the Balkans and East Asia. If you do want a glimpse of the prayer hall inside, there is an opening on the east side. Having said that, there is not much to see inside anyway. The walls are plain white and there is uh, just simple carpet on the floor for people to pray on. Around the world, the beautiful mosques that have interior worth seeing usually allow visitors to enter. That is not the case here in Marrakesh. Nevertheless, the visitors can enjoy the ambience outside, marvel at the 12th century architecture and take a stroll in the lovely garden. Outside the mosque, you will see street vendors selling everything from clothes and shoes to mobile phone cases. Get my service! Get my service! Get my service! The 
building itself is impressive from outside. You can see the 77 meter tall minaret from anywhere in the city or even before landing in Marrakesh. Later that evening, we tried a special Moroccan street food, snails. We had never eaten snails before, so we decided to give it a shot. When in Marrakesh, you will see locals eating snails on street corners. <laughs> So we are having street food in Marrakesh, uh, these are snails, so here it is, uh, I have to drag the snail out with this, there you go, here's the snail, and it's boiled with something, some spices, I don't know, this is the snail. It tastes good actually, there you go, no more snail, snail here. So. In our next video, we will show you the Majoral Gardens and Bahia Palace. Please subscribe for more videos from Morocco and from around the world. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. We would love to hear from you. We will leave you with a beautiful call to prayer from the Qutubiyah Mosque.